What's going on guys? My name is ATF Cobra and welcome to episode 1 of Tactical Edge. And uh, today's new series, uh, which I'm going to be doing weekly, or trying to do weekly, is going to be giving you guys the tactical edge over your enemy, whether you're in infantry using weapons, you're in a vehicle, or you're using uh, uh, equipment such as the small rockets or any other, uh, you know, claymore or whether, whatever you're using on a battlefield. Now today's episode we're covering the M16A3 versus the F2000 and the reason why I wanted to do this video is to actually help you guys get the M16 out of your hands but unfortunately the only gun that beats the M16 um, in its category is the M16. The only <laughs> other weapons out there are not even in, in the same you know, fire rate or even in the same um, just about category but if you're looking for something that's going to topple your enemy most definitely it's the AEK versus the uh, M16 but the AEK has a higher fire rate and um, about the same drop off damage so really it, it does seem a little bit unfair so I tried to match something really close to it and the F2000 is just about close at 850 rounds per minute while the M16A3 has 800 rounds per minute now the reload for the M16A3 is ridiculously high at 1.8 seconds which is crazy uh, reload speed and 2.37 seconds on an empty magazine now for the F2000 of course it's a extremely longer as you guys can tell in the animations it's 2.65 seconds loaded and 3.6 on an empty magazine and most of your recoil actually for the F2000 which is going to be your main problem is going up left and right which really sucks because left and right recoil um, is the worst recoil to handle because you have to compensate when your enemy is strafing and if you can't compensate you're going to lose that gunfight but this gun can be very dangerous because of the faster fire rate it could put shots down faster than your enemy now the M16A3 is sitting at the least damage drop off at 40 meters at about 17 damage um, and the F2000 drops off at 16 and that's one point difference one point can mean one bullet or less or even two bullets or less and uh, the uh, F2000 does lose in about the range battle the medium even to the long range against the M16A3 and it's probably not going to win against any other assault rifle long range because they have a better drop off damage as well now the stats are going to be in the description below if you do have any descriptions feel free to check it out and compare them to other websites as well now the M16A3 beats just about every gun even the AEK it will beat the AEK at longer range but shorter range it won't because of the higher fire rate but the F2000 will definitely win up against everything else even contend with the AEK because it has 850 rounds per minute like I said and um, the other assault rifles have a slower fire rate and their damage drop off is a little bit higher but the slower fire rate up close can uh, you know really mean a lot especially if you're on target now the spread for uh, hip firing for the M16 A3 is pretty low and for the F2000 it's about the same a little bit different um, you know when you're standing when you're crouched it's just about the same if not um, you know any different and they do increase at the same level now the reason why I put these two guns like I said together is to get it off your hands so if you're definitely looking for a better challenge try the F2000 especially post patch because of the uh, you know nerf in the gun it does have a bit of an initial recoil where it'll jump straight up after your first shot and that's why I recommend that you guys go with the iron sight or maybe even the cobra sight for the F2000 and the M16A3 you could try whatever attachment with it and you're going to do well um, and it even in uh, hands of a bad player the M16A3 does well but in a really strong player's hand the F2000 does exceptionally well against every assault rifle now the next series uh, that I will be doing I not too sure what I want to cover yet so that's why I left the comments open the comment box open so let me know guys in the comments below of what you want to see exactly the F 2000s recall is mostly to the left and to the right so that's what you guys are going to have to adjust for 
and um, you know that's the only thing that you have to worry about M16 A3 everybody should know how to use it by now and that's why it really beats every other assault rifle because of the very low recoil it's only going uh, a little bit up and to the right and for the F2000 it's gonna go left to right and those are the worst records to manage but hopefully you guys enjoyed these uh, tips and tricks and this new series it's been your boy peace